Hey party people, happy almost Valentine's Day and uh, happy Sunday to you. This is your friend and trusted financial advisor, The Chill Gamer. Just doing a quick video on using your video games as a language learning tool. So for any of you out there who are trying to learn a foreign language and also love gaming, this is a nice way to kind of make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of both of those items. Um, you may not know this, but any game that you own on Steam, and most likely and you play and Origin and Galaxy, I, ha I haven't messed with this too much on those other clients, but any game you own in Steam, for sure, you can run in any language that they release the game in. So, for instance, Elder Scrolls V, we have a lot of options. So if you are learning any of these languages, you can actually totally transform your game into that language. Now, that being said, if you're learning the language, it might be a little overwhelming to just jump into a brand new game and you, you totally lost, right? So what I recommend is do this with a game that you know very, very well. Now, in my case, Elder Scrolls V, I've got 200, hour, 200 plus hours in the vanilla version and about 50 in the other. So over 250 hours, that's kind of sad when I think about it, but at any rate, I know this game very well. I know the gist of the story. I know the, the gameplay mechanics, and I can get away with not totally understanding everything, and that's the point of language acquisition. You, you want to have that immersion, and you want to know the gist of what's going on, but you won't understand every single thing, and that is a good level to practice at. That being said, you don't want to get frustrated. And that's why, in my opinion, finding a game that you know very well is important. Um, if you go to a smaller release like Dungeon of the Endless, you'll see that there's just not as many languages available in a small release. And that makes sense, right? You might expect that. But a large game like Elder Scrolls and um, you know other role-playing games, like let's say the new Deus Ex. I'm just kind of curious here how that turned out properties, languages, and quite a few here. So here we have even Portuguese, which I didn't see as an option in Elder Scrolls. Um, the best game, in my opinion, for language acquisition is Witcher. Uh, Witcher 2 and 3, for sure. So those games, you can actually run the language in whatever you're studying and then have English subtitles at the bottom. So that's kind of cool. But now that I'm running Elder Scrolls in Spanish, if I turn the subtitles on, which I will, those subtitles will be in Spanish, okay? So y you can see why subtitles are important. He I probably won't understand. Oh, is she going to attack me? She looks cool. Who is that? Excuse me. Oh, she must be. Uh, okay, she's a mod. Hey, how about you? You got anything to say? You know what? I can't hear them. It's because of the snowstorm. What's going here? Saldos de Birna. I think I just walked into someone's house. Hey, everybody. Um, ah, here we go. All right, cool. So I didn't, I didn't quite catch any of that. So what, so what I would want to do in this situation? Yeah, it's kind of cool. It transforms everything. So habilidades. Wasn't that level up? Habilidades? Yeah. You you know what these are, even if you don't know Spanish. Alquima? Alquimia? Yeah, right. Alchemy. Elo, eloquencia? Eloquence or speech, right? Robo. Sneaky. Thief. Uh, pickpocket. Abrir saradura. So lockpicking? Alright, well that would be opening locks. Abrir is to open. Anyway, I'm getting, I'm dirting out of here. Um, in order to help me out here, I'm going to turn the subtitles on. And to do that, I need to go to the system. Sistema. I'm going to go to Configuration. 
Sorry, my, my Spanish is really bad. <laughs> I'm still learning, right? That's the whole point of this. Subtitulos. Boom. Oh, wait. There's actually subtitulos um, for general and then, or sorry, for specific interactions and then in general. So anytime someone speaks, it's going to pop up and allow me to keep up with what's going on. Should I robar? Um, see, this is great. So I can read, I can listen, and when I have my dictionary, not dictionary, what do you call that? I guess it is a dictionary. Wait, Spanish, English, what is it? Is it a dictionary? Well, you know what I'm talking about. But when I have that document, that book near, I can look up particular words. What is a borracho? I don't know. Probably is an insult, right? It's, she's something my brother's my brother's an imbecile or something like that. So guys, there you have it. I hope that this was useful. If you are learning a foreign language and you found that this was helpful, um, please just like and all that jazz. Um, there's just so much to learn when you have this kind of a game and you switched over to the language you're learning. So take, right? Take the mountain flower, flor de montaña. And we all know what chicken is in Spanish. Pollo! Oh, nothing. Hey, pollo. Pollo? Polito. Polito. All right, guys. Thanks again. I appreciate you uh, taking some time to check the video out. Hope this was helpful. Till next time. Peace out.